Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, a Medieval Dynasty. So, I just both said Stardew Valley. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to see if we can't get a quest or two done uh, for uh, this season. Um, it's turning night, so I don't really want to be traveling too much at night. But uh, we will get a head start in the morning. Um, at the moment though, I want to see if I can't find some rocks and we'll pick those up and bring them to our um our uh what do you call it workshop um unlocking doing more quests will actually give us a little bit more building area like buildings that we can build at the moment we can't build any houses or anything like that that's why i've been not able to do any of that at the moment but uh, when, when we get that third quest line we'll be able to definitely do some stuff so yeah at the moment I'm just picking up stones because it's actually kind of easier to do than um, ah, we scared it <laughs> uh, than actually like mine it. You don't get that much from mining and it takes more energy. Though I think it takes a little bit longer for these to regenerate too. Okay, there's another stone here. Let's see if we can't get like our inventory full of stone. And then we'll head back to the um, workshop. It's turning night, so we'll get a he good head start in the morning. We can also use these for uh, flower pots too when we unlock those. Uh, there's actually quite a few of these ones around here. Ah, yes. Um, I ended up unlocking last episode one of the views so we could actually see stuff. So we can actually hit that. It uses a little bit of energy, but we can actually see, like, um, flowers, um, sticks, and mushrooms, things like that. The wild plants and stuff like that. Basically harvestable resources.
Alright, so I did go to a couple towns further on. There was no quest, so I ended up just coming back home. Uh, didn't die, which was great. And uh, I did, while I was out, I did purchase um, a little something that we could make a bow with. So I got some, I think it was linen thread, if I remember correctly, that we needed. Can't remember the ingredient. Yeah, linen thread. So uh, I crafted up a bow. Uh, we can now just start focusing on getting some arrows and stuff like that. We need 10 feathers, um, 10 sticks, and uh, two stone. And I think that gives us like 10 arrows or something like that. So that'll be good. Um, bows don't last forever. So eventually they will break, uh, especially the lower grade ones. So we'll have to work towards um, saving up enough money to actually get something better and not wasting our um, actual materials on like other things as well so like you know hunting actual large animals with a bow rather than spears for like things like birds and stuff but uh, outside of that um, just kind of debating what I should do next now we have these buckets they, they can go for a lot uh, at the moment, we can't really do too much because we need the woodworking station in order to make some planks. But I figure what we'll do is I think we got a little bit that we can craft up. And we'll start selling buckets. So when that gets filled up again, we'll harvest that and make planks and stuff. But uh, at the moment, so let's go ahead and craft some of these up. It only takes two so we can craft three buckets and then we'll go see if we can sell these at the uh, nearest town. Um, yeah, we'll see if we can't do that. Oh, and uh, I did discover a cave um, over kind of north of here. It's there's that town. I went to that town. No quest. I went to that town. No quest and then uh, There's a cave right in here. So I placed some uh, fences down now last time I remember when I was playing this game uh, You could place fences down and it would uh, prevent bandits and stuff from spawning so uh, That's really handy when you want to go build there eventually and there's no bandits or you know lives animals or you've killed all the animals and like bears or whatever and you don't want to deal with it again uh, sometimes there's um, bears in your caves but uh, not all caves have bears which is really handy so okay so there is quite a bit of meat that we should probably process we might be able to start selling some
Alright, so we got a bunch of buckets sold. Uh, looks like they're still resting at the moment. So I'm going to put this um, coins away. And then what we can do is we have about 300, 400, almost 400 coins. And cabbage. I honestly don't know what to do with the cabbage. Let's see if we can't cook something with it. Uh, we could cook meat, but we need bowls uh, to be unlocked. And for bowls... Uh, let's see here. So it will cost about 200 for that. Yeah, I think we could do that. It will be much more nutrient uh, than just the... What do you call it? Um, the meat itself. So... See if we can't craft up the a couple bowls, and I think that just requires a couple logs, so we can craft up that. We'll probably that, and then we will go ahead and um, unlock that one. So that should give us uh, pottage, which is kind of like a thing, like a food. All right, um, now we're gonna obviously need some bowls. And this should make, oh, she's stuck again. I should really put a fence or something there. Right, right along here, just so she goes around. And goes up here, maybe. I don't know, I think it's down to the foundation, I think. Eventually she'll figure it out, but. All right, um. Where was I? I needed to craft up some bowls. Might be able to sell some depending on the price as well. Crafting is a lot faster than buckets, so that's for sure. So we got... Oh, we get like five uh, bowls for every log. That's not too bad, actually. So we should get like 50 bowls. Yeah. Nice. Alright, good. And we can go ahead and... Oh, we need raw meat, that's right. Maybe we have to wait a while until we get that. Yeah, she, see, she figured it out. Uh, how are we on raw meat? We only have 11 at the moment. By the end of the day, he should have a lot more for us. So, I'm gonna put the bowls... Um, just in my chest here for now.
Alright, so I finally got enough meat to craft up a few of those um, bulls. So we'll be able to put these together, turn on that, go to here, and then we'll be able to make at least 16 of these. So that'll be good. I'm not sure if that's going to use up all our cabbage or if we need more um, meat or something like that, but we'll find out in just a sec. So it takes uh, three meat. So we might not have enough meat. I don't know. Uh, we don't actually have that much cabbage either, and it takes two cabbage, so maybe that's about what we'll run out of first, probably, so. But we, we will make uh, quite a bit of the um, pottage, which we could either sell, or we could use for our village for food. So we'll have to kind of decide on what we'll do with that. Meat is a pretty steady supply. We have constant meat, but... Um, Outside of that, if you, um, I'll get I'll get through the crafting here, and then we'll continue next episode with some other things. Um, autumn's just around the corner. We have a couple more days until that's finished, but uh, or until summer's finished. So we'll have a harvest, a uh, pretty big harvest, and then we'll be able to do some other stuff. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.